Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dr. Rasip Academy. And today, shall we discuss about one of the important ecological concepts that is the productivity. So, in an ecosystem, the productivity is most important for supply and uh, fulfillment of the energy. So, the energy for living organism is basically produced by the producers and the producers are here the plant so plant produce the energy for the entire living to the biosphere the living which present on the biosphere are consume the energy only by the production of plants so hence the important thing that is what a productivity so let us look at <coughs> productivity means it is the amount of the amount of biomass or organic matter or organic matter produce 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 per unit area by by producer by producer during during photosynthesis photosynthesis so so producers here producers are the plant producers are the plant and plant only the organism which is which is going to produce the energy the energy which is taken here as a organic matter Whatever the plants consume the uh, food that is in organic matter and that also another name is biomass and this energy organic matter is produced during what? During the process photosynthesis. So the productivity per unit area, an area is given and a place is there where the plants are produced, where the plants are the uh, important in the production of the energy in an earth surface fine so here the productivity is classified into certain types and those the types of the productivity one is primary productivity primary productivity so let us understand what do you mean by primary productivity the amount of production of the primary productivity here it is understand like this the rate of the rate of biomass production the rate of biomass production is called primary productivity the rate of the rate of biomass production the rate of biomass production is called is called primary productivity okay primary productivity so when we call primary productivity the there is an open plot there is an open place where the plants are growing up the plants is rise that is primary productivity and this primary productivity has certain further divided into two types one is gross one is gross gross primary productivity and another one is net primary productivity net primary productivity net primary productivity so the gross Total, product, uh, total amount of organic production or biomass in a given area at a particular time that is gross primary productivity and the total amount means GPP, GPP total primary productivity total 
total amount of organic production which is called biomass it is in the weight and the plant utilize plant utilize the energy for its purpose that is respiration and it become minus minus n remaining energy remaining energy which is used by plant the lost by energy respiration the remaining left energy is what net the primary productivity after plant will produce the energy and the utilizing themselves as a respiration lost the energy by the plant and the in plant body the remaining energy were left that is what net the primary productivity and the net the primary productivity is available is available the net primary productivity is available for the for the next for the next topic level next topic level or we can say heterotrophs we can say hetero heterotrophs where the available energy from the net primary productivity the autotroph the heterotrophs consume the net productivity of the plant and they grow so the when the heterotrophs are we can say animal animal when consume consume the available energy in net primary productivity and they grow by consuming those uh, plant energy and they grow that is the secondary secondary productivity secondary productivity. so basically here the product the productivity is two type one is primary productivity another one is secondary productivity the primary productivity is the rate of biomass production or organic matter at a given area by producers during the process photosynthesis and this is gross primary productivity total amount of biomass production at a area at a given time and by themselves they utilize the energy as respiration r when we minus <coughs> gpp minus r become npp npp is the net primary productivity net available energy for the next tropic level and the next tropic level heterotrophs heterotrophs will consume the available energy from the plants and they grow that is what secondary productivity so like this in an ecosystem the production of energy the production of biomass is basically started by the autotrophs means plants and ultimately plants are the source of energy to this ecosystem so today this much is enough the remaining ecological points will be continue in our next class